Hello and welcome to the Interhaptics SDK tutorial for Unreal Engine. I'm Adrian from Interhaptics and in this guide I will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to integrate the Interhaptics SDK into an Unreal 5.1 project by providing a basic example for an X-input controller. Think of it as your typical Xbox controller or compatible Xbox controller. For time considerations, we will cut the loading assets part, which can take quite a long time, while keeping the same steps as when creating a project from A to Z. For this example, we will choose the third person sample from Unreal as a blueprint project, and we will add the blueprints as we go. After creating the Interaptics uh, project, you can close it and navigate to the project folder to create a plugins folder at the root level. Go inside this folder and either clone the Interaptics SDK repository through Git or download the package from the github.com slash Interaptics address, which can be found in the video description and extract this zip archive in the plugins folder. Reopen the project and uh, rebuild the Interaptics module when asked. After all this is done, open the plugin sections and make sure the Interaptics plugin is enabled under project other. In this case, it's uh, enabled by default. The content browser, go to settings and select show plugins content. Then navigate to the Interhaptics C++ class, uh, Interhaptics public, and get the Haptic Manager to drag it into your viewport. The Haptic Manager is necessary for the haptic effects to be played at runtime. Next, we will add a haptic source blueprint. So for this, we will create a new blueprint class with the haptic source type and use the following feature. For general, we will assign a haptic effect to the object to be played. The Interaptics Unreal SDK already contains a library of haptic effects in the package. For the blueprint event graph, we will start by setting the targets, which allows us uh, to set the targets of the source, uh, which can vary between left, right, both, or none. In the blueprint event graph, we will also add a play to start all haptic events related to the haptic source. So in this case, uh, the haptic effect will begin at the start of the scene. We can then add the haptic uh, effect start in the viewport and check it by uh, loading the scene. To add X input events, we have to modify the level blueprint. So we open it and um, we add a gamepad event. For this uh, gamepad event triggered on the top button, we create a new uh, blueprint of the haptic source type. So in this example, it will be haptic uh, effect shoot the name and uh, we add it to the viewport. We have uh, then to assign a haptic effect from the library, or you can create your own using uh, haptic, uh, the haptic composer from uh, the Interaptics suite. We drag the haptic effect shoot uh, blueprint into the viewport after saving, of course, and then uh, from the viewport to the event graph. On the gamepad face button top uh, event, uh, in the pressed state, we will stop all the present haptic sources from playing. It is not uh, mandatory, but it is a good practice to clear the haptic effects uh, which were played or are playing at the moment uh, of uh, the button press. And we will set the target to both hands to play on both sides of the controller. And then we will execute play. So uh, this uh, is a logical chain on the blueprint. And alternatively, you can uh, set the targets to left, uh, right, or both. In the case, uh, we uh, choose the whole controller to play the haptic effect shoot. And uh, we link it to the actor uh, in the scene 
on both set targets and play. In the released state, uh, you may stop the haptic source if desired, but this is optional and uh, let's say uh, best practices for haptic events playing. Thank you for following this tutorial. For any other feedback or information, we are available at, it, at interhaptics.com and on our Discord with the link in the video description.